this is a real tragedy without question. Canada's first death linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. Just days ago here at Montreal's Neurological Institute Hospital, 54-year-old Francine Boyer died of a blood clot after receiving the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. Unfortunately, it is something that, that we did uh, uh, expect. Um, this complication is very rare, one in 100,000 vaccine-induced thrombocytopenia and thrombosis. Given uh, the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, in Quebec and in Canada, uh, we were expecting some cases. Alain Serre, Boyer's husband, confirmed her identity in a press release Tuesday night, saying the mother of two and grandmother, originally from saint Remy, south of Montreal, died on April 23rd. The family requesting privacy during this time, Alain posting to social media a tribute to his late wife, saying, I love you and I will love you forever. He revealed they'd received their first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine on April 9th and that over the next few days, Boyer experienced great fatigue along with headaches, but he had no side effects. Symptoms are very common after vaccination. Uh, this complication seems to arise in the 4 to 20 day period after you've gotten your vaccination. Expect some side effects in the first couple of days after vaccination. It is not this complication. Uh, if side effects uh, strike between uh, day 4 and day 20, uh, as I've described, then seek medical attention. Boyer was brought to the nearest hospital and transferred to Montreal's Neurological Institute Hospital before she died of cerebral thrombosis. Her husband, Alain, now encouraging people who get the vaccine to stay alert for symptoms or unusual reactions. Headaches, uh, change in vision or speech, chest pain, shortness of breath, uh, abdominal pain, leg pain, leg swelling. These uh, symptoms are very common symptoms, but they, with artery and vein blockages, they're not subtle. They tend to be very uh, severe symptoms. They'll get you into the emergency room. Uh, and, uh, and, and once in the emergency room, doctors are aware of this complication, are looking out for it. More than 400,000 people have been vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine in the province so far. Health officials say two other cases of blood clots are under surveillance. Another woman had been confirmed to have had a blood clot after the shot earlier this month, but was recovering at home. Experts stressing the chances of this occurring remain low. The same as one's lifetime risk of being struck by lightning. It's very rare. The medical community urging the population to not let this deter them from being vaccinated. We have to counterbalance the tragedies that are happening every day in our hospitals as a consequence of COVID. Over 10,000 Quebecers have died of COVID. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, we don't have access to 100% uh, safe uh, vaccinations uh, yet. And even waiting a month, uh, in, patient, in people that are 45 and up, uh, you know, will uh, lead to more uh, COVID tragedies than vaccine tragedies. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.